reaffirmed our strength in our differences of worship. Tomorrow holds stronger promise that the youth of our nation remain a strong force for a better nation, waiting and ready to overcome hate and battle. Indeed, our story as a country desirous of becoming a nation shows the triumph of determination. The defeat of hate, the victory of unanimity, of purpose, and the resolve to build a new nation we are all man or woman, boy or girl, rich or poor, we live together in peace. This peace shall continue to remain in love and pursuit of one common destiny. Fellow countrymen and women, we need to believe in our nation and the promise which she holds for us as a people to be better and stronger. Our nation is our heritage, regardless of our differences as a people and the challenges of our development. We should always remember Rome was not built in a day. We must reserve, resolve to lend our support to the challenge of making Nigeria greater. We must resolve to do it right and get it right so that together we can build a new nation which the rest of Africa will proudly look up to for direction. The climb may be steep, the journey may be long and tough, but I am confident that with determination and hard work, Nigeria shall rise again. All right. The ABC-led administration of President Muhammad Buhari has begun a journey for a new dawn. Steadily, sanity in public office is being restored as public trust. A new order of decency, respect for the rule of law and probity are gaining sense and grounds, far becoming entrenched in our body politics. Our values of honesty, hard work, and pursuit of honor are gradually becoming the way of life again, the way it should be, in a new nation which seeks order and punishes infractions of law. Today, a new promise for a better Nigeria makes us believe that all hope is not lost with Muhammad Buhari at the helm of affairs. We have survived a recession and ending prosperity in our portion, guided by the lessons of yesterday. Fellow Nigerians, let me affirm that the Federal Capital Territory Administration believes that together we can break new frontiers of progress and defeat old barriers that seek to retard our onward march to greatness. We are resolved to show the way we can live together as one people, united in common pursuit of faith in ourselves, and strengthened, not weakened, by those things that seek to divide us. We shall continue to strive to make our federal capital territory a home for all. Home for all friends of Nigeria, all for citizens of Nigeria, and all homes for everyone who seeks to reside. Security in lives and citizens will be pursued with relentless vigor. Ladies and gentlemen, we must resolve to make Nigeria a better place. We must stand together <laughs> and reaffirm our faith in our collective greatness. We must be our brothers and sisters keeper, no matter our differences in worship. Faith will creep. Whatever tribe you are, whatever religion it is you are, we are one. I believe that it is from these differences that we can build a stronger Nigeria. We are all we count, and all will surely matter 
in our march to imagine a truly strong nation. On the occasion of this 59th anniversary as we celebrate, let us affirm that united we stand and together we can. We must rededicate ourselves to those attributes that bind us together and affirm that the sacrifices of our heroes past will never be in vain. Ordinarily, I will tell you that after reading a written speech, I will say it is over. But from the motivation I got from the representative of the people living with disability this evening, he further reaffirmed that Nigeria is indeed a great nation. <laughs> Honestly speaking, if I had a conviction before that I am investing in the Nigerian youth and people living with disability, it just got stronger this evening. <laughs> I am also particularly touched, I am touched by the decision of the coalition of women and youth and people living with disability, there's capacity of fun to put together this kind of a great occasion. <laughs> Silver no gold do I have immediately to tell you or to give to you this night. But I will offer to you promise of selfless service. I want to assure you that you can always count on me, you can always count on, F, on FCT leadership and administration. And I know with President Muhammad Bwari at the helm of affairs, we will only get better. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. A resounding applause for Thank Her Excellency.